Hey friends. So we're back again today in my studio slash workshop. I've cleaned up my uh, sawdust mess that was everywhere. <sighs> like it has a little vacuum bag on it, but I don't think it works very well. Anyway, today we're painting. Um, I've actually got my gate, some of my gate pieces laid out and I'm going to give them, oops, sorry, a fresh coat of paint. And I just wanted to show you this beautiful mess. I won't bore you with watching paint dry on YouTube because who wants to do that? But isn't that pretty? It's like, it's like a beautiful, I don't know if you can really see it very well. This light in here isn't the best, but it's a really pretty blue. That might actually help. It's kind of a, anyway, it's a light blue, which again is weird because I don't care for blue. It's my least favorite color, but I really, like this. It's actually more of an aqua color, I guess, than blue, which makes a difference. Anyway, I'm off to paint, so I'll be right back, and my gate will probably be all ready to go. Bye! Hey friends, welcome back. So, it's been a little crazy in here. We actually built, Brooks and I built a third rack system yesterday to get a bunch of stuff up and on the floor and out of our kitchen. Our kitchen's really small and uh, we have like no storage. We have a big pantry and obviously we have some cabinets, but it's just not enough space for storage. So um, we decided to do a big rack system in here for a lot of our canned, like our canning supplies and big, huge um, pieces of like cookware and utent big utent like big um, cooking apparatuses. So we moved all that stuff in here. So I haven't worked on my gate in the last few days, but here we are. We finally have all the pieces painted. I will say that there is a section of pieces that didn't get a second coat of paint. A little irritated about that, but I had them moved first and though I can kind of see it, um, just kind of not worth it. It's like, ugh, it's fine. Like, it's fine. Um, but there are some places where it stuck to the paper that it was sitting on, so that's fun. Uh, so I am just right now getting all of the screws screwed in, and this is really unsightly, I'm not gonna lie, obviously. Um, so I am going to paint those screws when it's all put together, and then the other day I was at this um, big huge antique store that we have down it's on the other side of town but it's this massive it's a huge antique mall is what they call it and it's a good I don't know it's a big it's a big store um, but they've got tons of booths and when we had gone I think it was last not this Sunday but last Sunday I think maybe no, maybe it was this Sunday, this past Sunday, uh, we or Saturday, I forget. Anyway, one of the two, we went in there and just kind of took a look. I think we made three, um, we did three rows before we all said, okay, fine. Or I, before I said, okay, fine, we'll, we'll leave. Because Natty was bored. She was mad at me for touching because she couldn't touch. And then Brooks was just bored the second he walked in there, poor guy. But um, so he sent me later and I got this huge, it's a big circle with uh, the star in it, it's metal, um, which I think will look really cool on my gate. So at any rate, I'm gonna get these uh, screws finished and put in and then we'll get my star on, I think. So hold tight. So I got all of the boards screwed in and my star placed. I actually um, got this piece at the um, antique store, like I was saying, and it was only $22. I actually really like the rust look on it. I was kind of wondering if it would look better as white, but now that I see it against this light, because I think white's just too pale. Like I do have a white star, well, whitish star 
Yeah, I just don't. Um, I think the white's too light. Too light. So we're gonna go with, we're just gonna leave it that color. And now I have to figure out how to hang it. I was sure that there would be, oh, there is, there's a little tiny thing. And I've run out of uh, screws to finish. I need four. So I will have to buy some um, tomorrow at the, at Lowe's. Um, now I just need to find one that's going to fit that. And I have lots of little hardwares. And actually I think mm, those are going to be too small and those are too long. Just considering wiring it actually. Hmm. Huh. Well, first things first, I need to paint those screws over because I don't like, I don't, I don't want them sticking out like that. The paint will eventually rub off anyway, but not going in anyway. So that'll be the outside of the gate and I have really cute hardware to go with it. Um, so once I get this gate finished and dried, I can schlep it outside and then we can hang it. So that'll be fun. Um, as far as my chalkboard, that's kind of going to be in a different video to finish, hopefully tonight, or at least get the frame cut and um, put put together and glued on. That's that's the goal, but I don't know if that's going to happen, so we'll see. Anyway, we'll just finish the gate outside tomorrow maybe and uh, go from there. Hey friends. Okay, so we are... I'm so excited. Um, I've got my gate finally finished and leaning. Um, I put this my star up and I couldn't find like decent brackets. I actually wound up using fence, uh, what are they, fence staples? <sighs> what a pain in the ass to put those things up. Like I'm just saying. Anyway, I've got my happy helper. Hey everybody. Happy helper. And I've got a couple, um, I've got a couple, whoops, bricks on the bottom um, that we're going to put the gate up on so that way we can put that up. And I hadn't put my um, brackets up yet only because I wasn't 100% sure like how far they needed to be off that or if I was going to be able to put them in or what have you. So I've waited to do that until now. So, whoops. Isn't it fun doing videos and technology with me? So fun. Anyway, okay. I'm gonna pick your gate up, your plodger. Hopefully that'll stay. Uh, there. And then look at that. Spot on. Somebody was thinking. this project and um, I needed to get the gate up first before I put the fence up so now that the gate is going up I have no excuse I gotta get this fence up which really needs to happen because every melon I get over there somebody's eating it so and I know that's gonna start happening here soon with the with the baby tender thing so well, this is nice. This is a nice change of pace. <laughs> nice change of pace. All right, we'll come back. Let me get this bottom one done. 
Ja. Saw. I also got a hand saw right there. Whatever. All right. Hi, you recording again? I yeah, see. Yeah, a little bit. Awesome. Are you worried about when we're going with this? I mean, let's not drop the F bomb. I don't plan on it. Our child but, is within their shot. Right, our kids are not outside, so. Yay. Yeah. Oh. I say stuff. You happy with that? And don't you love it, folks, when you leave your hose on overnight? Because our hose is, well, the part where you turn it off for us, it's like, it's really dumb. Um, for some reason, it doesn't always catch all the way. And like the handle falls off. So you gotta put, pick up the handle and put it back in there and then like jam it in and go here, here. So stupid thing didn't turn off all the way. And so when our guy came to mow today, he said, yeah, it was really wet outside. Granted, he came at like before nine in the morning on a Sunday. My neighbors wanted to kill me, I'm sure. But he didn't text to say what time he'd be by. I texted him on Friday and asked if he would go, uh, come mow. Man, you know the only thing I don't like about this is that this is rusted and not black. But then it's like, I can't, I like it rusted, so. I gave the option on that, honey. That sounded good. No, I know, and I talked about potential. This is kind of good. Sorry. Okay. Well, Do you want me to get the skull saw? So it's just ever so slightly. Yeah. You want all the right. skill saw for that? It's all in the bag. Are you going in or you want me to? Okay. You know, I did pretty good with this. Built it on my own. Took my own measurements. And it's a big gate. Like, it's four foot tall. But the fence is going to be four foot tall and i figured well it's going to be it's going to look weird if the gate is smaller plus like i just thought that it would you know i'm not sure i even really gave it a whole lot of thought i was just like oh you know what i like it to about here and it worked out to be four foot so again um as you have probably seen in the videos by now that uh saw situation was lots of fun Nobody ever taught me how to do any of this. Like I just kind of figured it all out on my own. So I will say that it's probably not the smartest way to do things, maybe. So if you're gonna use heavy equipment and saws and things, potentially maybe have a lesson or two. I did take shop in school and then in college we had to build our own painting frames which was terrifying because you had to use the wood shop like you got free access to all that stuff so it was like oh this is great but every time i went in there i swear uh the guy who i forget uh, i know his name is john rest in peace he had cancer um and died recently actually but i swear every time i'd come in there john would be like oh lord that girl here she comes again and I made comment on that once, and he was like, no, no, you're fine. You should see some of the kids who come in here. Like, you're fine. It's like, oh, that's nice. You're calling me a kid, and I'm probably your age. But that's nice. Anyway, he was a nice guy. And um, our wood shop, I'm sure, is missing him now. So, at any rate, I didn't take a class there, so I don't really know how to use a lot of the stuff. But kind of got quick lessons of, hey! Don't put your finger in there. I'm not really sure where Brooks went. Um, I'm gonna pause. I'm gonna pause this thing. Sorry. Oh, we're getting a power strip. This is gonna be interesting.
anyway. Be my guest, those weeds kind of just take over. I leave them because they're pretty and the bees like them. Hey, I think that rose bush that I killed last year is coming back. Check this out. <laughs> yep, that's a, that's a rose bush. That's hilarious. And it's kind of in here too. But whatever. I'm super helpful. Do you want me to do it? I'm left handed. You need to go up. Yep, yep, yep. Watch the I may have to get a turnbuckle for it because it's such a big fence and put that on the inside at some point, but not right now. She's sitting on the couch and we're watching this cooking channel so that way cartoons aren't on all the time and actually she's learning some stuff which is great and she there was a commercial for hot sauce and this dude's eating this hot sauce and there's a skeleton on the bottle or whatever and um, she tells Brooks oh and the guy is like freaking out and she tells Brooks she goes I don't know about that that skeleton sauce but that looked really good <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's our kid. 
All right. Oh, yes, I excited. Yay. I got a gate. And it opens and everything. Make it work for real. So cool. Ta-da. Thank you, honey. Thanks for hanging the gate. I'm actually gonna put these um, these bricks right here all the way across so that way critters can't get it in, under the gate. At least that's the plan. I put them on the back side. Well, I'm putting them on the inside. That's what I'm saying. Okay, on the back side. Yeah, Ta-da. <laughs> it slams and everything and the whole thing doesn't come down. I am proud. Bravo, my love. Thank you. Bravo. Thank you, thank you. Pretty excited about it, actually. Yay! Yay! I have a gate! Right, I'm gonna go cook dinner. Oh, love you. Love you too, baby. So, I have a gate. I'm super excited. I'm super pumped. And I am covered in sawdust, but... Ugh, and bug bites. Um, I'm actually really proud of myself. Like, this is the first really big thing that I've ever built. Well... Not that I've ever built. I've built some, like when I was little, we lived with my grandma, my mom and my sisters and me, we lived with my grandma. And so there was no like guy around and I was very much a tomboy. So anytime we had something to build or whatever, I would do it. I really enjoyed doing that kind of stuff. Legos were my jam. And so growing up, I always built big stuff. I built um, two really huge entertainment centers, not really looking at the directions put the whole damn thing together by myself. I was nine and I put two of those together, put like any like entertainment centers, um, videotape, remember videotapes, VHS, um, cabinets. My mom still has one cause she still has a VCR for some reason. I, but, um, I haven't had to do any of that stuff in like eight years and haven't had tools either in eight years or what have you. Um, to put things together like that. So this gate um, is like the first thing that I have built and put together by myself in a really, really, really long time. And so I'm really proud of it. And I think it turned out really nice. I really like the blue. There's a few places with the paint that I need to touch up actually because um, the slats that I had, I had half of them double coated and then one layer on the other half. I had two coats on one side and then one coat on the other side and they got moved and I couldn't really, in the lighting in there, it's like, oh man, like now I have to figure it out. Like what's what and who's got two coats and who's got one and I gotta finish that. And then I just decided, you know what, screw it. Like I'm just gonna put it together and where I need, a, you know, touch ups. Like here's a touch up. There's a little touch up right there. And this is from the hammer from today, I'm trying to get these things in. So like that was fun, but I can see it on the other side of the gate. Like I can definitely see it on this side, but look at me, I got a gate. <laughs> I'm super proud. So I can actually get another handle and put one on the inside too. So that way I've got that, but Thanks for hanging out with me during this very long DIY project. Again, do not do as I do. So don't take the lessons from me, but do believe that you can do it yourself. So, cause I did it myself. Um, so if you're gonna use heavy equipment and saws and electrical power stuff, um, get a little lesson from your neighbor or your brother or your uncle or dude down the street, I'm sure like most guys, I won't say most guys, but from somebody um, who knows what they're doing. So that's my lesson to you. Hey, little hummingbird. Well, hummingbird's back today. Um, hi, show guys. So she's gonna come check out the gate. Come and look at the gate, babe. Look. Oh, y'all, what a my face. What do you think? I love it, mommy. You love it? Yeah. Yeah? Let me see her. <laughs> It's beautiful. It's beautiful. What's on your face? Lip gloss. Pink lip gloss. I think that's lipstick. We need to stop calling it lip gloss because that's definitely not gloss. It's a stick. It's a creamy lipstick. I thought I was buying a lip gloss 
for her, and that's what came. Yes. And I love you. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna put some flowers down. We picked some flowers earlier today, remember? Remember the spiders that I found? No, I'm gonna pick a, a, a clover for you. Oh, some clover, okay. We're gonna pick some clovers. Yep. All right, y'all. I am gonna get some pictures of my gate and <laughs> post them on Insta. Um, thanks for hanging out with me through this project. I know it was long. I apologize. Um, but hopefully, you found some things funny. But uh, anyway, I will be back another day with something else. Um, I'm sure. Oh, you know what? I do. I have that chalkboard I still need to finish. So, hi, sugar. You're so cute. Um, so we're going to go. Happy gardening, friends. Until next time. Happy gardening, friends. <laughs> Happy gardening, friends. Bye. Bye.